Carrying on. Just that stop for a call of nature. There's no toilets and public conveniences. It's something no one talks about, but most of your stuff, we, is biodegradable. Um, but no one talks about it. But they should, because people get anxious about it. Somebody come in. I'm just going to turn off a minute. Right then, back on everyone. I've just met another nice couple. They've done, they're doing the reverse to me. Now, so that's already boosted my confidence immediately. Um, thinking, yeah, I was doing all right anyway, but sometimes, like I said, when you're alone, you can have doubts. Um, you can worry that you're not doing it right. And you've got no one to back up, bounce off. But unless you meet people, I met two lovely people there. And they said, yeah, you're on the right route for Ladies Fountain. Sisters Fountain, you're on the right route for Candy Gate. And they said, when you get to Candy Gate, there's a signpost you'll be able to see where you go down. Down to the Coombs, the way they came. So, or can wait because it's just that bit too much. Or can wait. Now, I would have liked to have been at County Coombe by three o'clock at the latest. <sighs> Not County Coombe, County Gate. But I don't want to rush either. God, you know what? It's that every single time I pass one of these little streams and coombs, it's uh Oh, right, hold on. Right, now, this is a different route up. Here you can go County Gate, one and a half miles via Old Burrow. <sighs> to get the map out again. Um, So there is another way. Let me turn off a minute. Right, carrying on folks. Um, every now and again, not very often, there is the odd dis diversion or distraction, I call it, from your main route. Back there, there was a sign to County Gate, one and a half miles, going straight up by a stream because I keep thinking this is going to be Sister's Fountain and no, there was no sign for Sister's Fountain and that would have gone up past some barrow something or other which is one of the old forts anyway God, I was right up there earlier Hold on a minute. Let, me, let me just um, zoom in see that see that bit of dirt there I stood up there earlier. That's a route up. Those people will be doing that in a minute. So there's a, lots and lots of coombs everywhere. Um, County Gate is up there. Now, they've reassured me, the, two cu the couple I just met then. Um, but that, the, then there was a sign for County Gate via Barrow something or other um, but and it was by a stream so I could have easily have thought that was Ladies Fountain but I think I've got a feeling Ladies Fountain will be labelled it's on the map so I need to keep going anyway on the route that I wanted to meet up with basically um, I still, in, I'm not even on the turn yet. I'm not even on the turn. I need to get the county gate by free. I don't want to put pressure on myself because there's a big hill to climb. You've got three quarters of an hour before turning back time. It can't be far now. 
is six miles to Colborne. Now, the last post I seen when I came here, it said seven miles, to, no, six miles to Colborne, seven miles, seven or eight miles to Limmouth. Well, back there, it said only four miles to Limmouth. <sighs> That's what I said, you can get disheartened as you get tired. You can get disheartened. You meet someone, they lift your spirits for a minute. And they're in twos, they're always in twos. I'm always alone. I want to be alone. But there are times you think, God, I just wish I had somebody with me at this moment in time. Look at that, that's an awful climb up there. <sighs> Do you know what I mean? I wish I had somebody now <sighs> to share the worry when there is worry. <sighs> and I've walked for miles, I'm still walking, I, do, I can do it. It's just that uh, I'm not even on the turn yet. At three o'clock I would have been walking six hours and I've, I need six hours to get back. <sighs> I got a feeling what I'm walking around is what I call the crown. <sighs> it's a big clump of trees that sticks up. I call it the crown. <sighs> Lighthouse Hill, I'll call that for now. Four Point Hill, or whatever it's called, Foreland Hill. Um, if I go back now, I've got to climb right up there. There's a lot of climbing, either way you go. Anyway, that's the excitement if I get a bit anxious, doesn't it? Will she make it? Will she get there? Well, you'll obviously know if you ever see this video that I've made it because I've got to get home to process it all I know is this uh, memory card's doing well it must be due to change soon I'm videoing me going up hills on purpose because um You need to know that it's up and down. And it, it's, it's a different ball game alone. Totally different ball game. In some ways you stick out because you're alone. You stick out because you're a woman alone. And... Just so in over there. Yeah. I definitely haven't bitten off too much on YouTube, but I can't do ore today. That is definitely out. Okay, I'm back on. I've just passed. Two lady hikers with everything on their backs. They're, they're solo, but they've just bumped into each other when I was talking to one of them. Another solo lady came along. So they might have company for a little while. That'd be nice. You never know you're going to meet en route. But I was just looking at their packs. And I want to... I just think, God, you know, it is, looks very, very, very heavy. Um, very, very heavy indeed. She, and the thing is, I don't know how she's going to get up that hill. There's one massive hill they've got to get up. And I'm definitely not doing that. That was so nice. It was inspiring to see them, though. It's weird, a two turned up. 
I was just talking about the difficulties of being a solo hiker when you've got no one to bounce off and then um, I bumped into this lady carrying a massive pack with everything and it looked really really heavy for her and she's got massive <sighs> she must be in her 30s I should think maybe her, I can't, you can't always tell but <sighs> to be quite honest um, I hope they do sit together in a way because there are stages in your walk where it would be nice to have someone. I was just saying that. Now, fortunately, I could have been the catalyst for those two being friends for life. And hopefully they will. I mean, they might not want to, because I mean, things, don't you go solo because you want to be alone? This is the conflict I'd have. If I was to meet somebody now and say, oh, I'll walk the rest of the way with you, I would think, oh, I don't know about that. <sighs> Although I'd like it, I don't like it, because the thing is with me, I've got my asthma, which is a spontaneous thing, and I've got... I'm overweight and I'm old. So basically, they're carrying all that. I can't believe it. How much they are carrying. Now, one girl looked more comfortable than the other. She was carrying everything, but she had everything really up high. Now, the other one was carrying a lot of stuff low. Now I've noticed by putting the load more up top of your back and on your shoulders how much easier. Once it starts drifting down you have to sort your rucksack out again and move it back up. And um, that's what's handy about compartments. So in the back, the bottom, I think I've only got a coat. And that's it. I've just put a lightweight coat in there. The, the cameras weigh a lot, believe it or not. Um, I've got two battery chargers for cameras. Two battery chargers. Two cameras. Is that right? Yeah. Quite tell you, this county gate's getting along. Now, I spent ten minutes talking then. But it's important. You learn. What you've got to do when you're out. You observe and learn other, from others. Now, what's that's just reinforced to me not to do what they're doing. Walking a coastal path at my age, no. I'm not going to do it like that. I am going to do some camping and I'm going to go manageable walk. It'll still be hard because I've still got to carry the tent. See, not everyone's got a car, you see. These people that go everywhere in their car and just lift their tent and equipment out, it's dead easy, isn't it? It's dead easy. And then they have a light pack for walking around. Dead easy. Sensible, somebody would say. Now here's this lovely big hill. What I call the crown. There's another woman coming now. I'm going to take a picture of it. Over and out.